Manchester, the north. Abundant housing, the land of milk and honey. Or is it? A centre manager who helps the homeless has admitted that people have died, as new statistics show that four out of ten homes in the northwest don't meet the living home standard. I spoke with Shelter Manchester service manager John Ryan to find out the full extent of the problem. Uh, we, we've had cases where people have sadly you know, lost their lives. You know, the, I think, I think what, the, the biggest issue I think for people is, is, is that if you live on the streets, it reduces your life expectancy. If you're living in bad housing, that affects your life expectancy as well. So you know, we're talking about people who may have you know, 10, 15 years, potentially knocked off their life because they're living in poor conditions. Poor. What I can say is that successive governments have not put enough money into affordable homes. Uh, I would like to think that this government or any other government would put, would put the money in to the affordable homes and making sure that enough homes are built so that people, so that everybody, whether they be in Manchester or wherever in the country, can access a home that is affordable. So whether that's a home to own or a home to rent, that it's affordable. Um, that's a really big, that, that was the biggest thing that came out of our living home standard. And you know, four in 10 people don't meet that standard. A high number of those are people who, as I said before, are making really, really difficult choices, whether to put food on the table or whether they can pay the rent. We went to find out what people in Manchester think about the state of housing in the North West. Certainly the city areas, I think, they need a lot of improvement. But it's happening, I think, in Manchester and around. And given time, I think it will do. Um, lower class, but I think there's a widening in the section of the of sort of people that can afford things and people that can't. And I, I personally think that's, that's not right, so it doesn't surprise me. With Shelter and Ipsos Mori defining what constitutes a livable home, at least some of us can sleep easy tonight, even if it's just six out of ten of us. Charles Creasy, Keys News.